Alright, the first thing that you need to know about Unity is how everything's set up. Uh, okay, so it's built up of scenes. Uh, scenes are, well, in Unity it's, it's kind of like a box that contains all of the objects and everything that you're going to see at any moment in time at any time you're going to do a scene so and a game just moves from one scene to another to another to another right so scene like it has a box it's built up of instances all these little red dots inside of it right they're going to be an infinite number of them or are going to just be one or going to be none even but like uh that's what's inside of the scene and the scene and the instances have components okay that's how it goes scene instances components that builds up all of unity right so inside of unity here you can start to see what i'm talking about the scene itself this thing that you're looking at right here has everything inside of it and it already has an instance of a camera inside of it and the camera has components inside of here the transform components on literally every single instance it tells a unity where something is that this is the position that it's at right now this says that the camera is actually at zero zero just like you've seen other grids inside of like a science class and math class and stuff uh this grid right here this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis right here and this zero zero means this point right here if you were to go one one as you see, it moves one over, one up. Two, another one over. See what I'm saying? And of course, if you go into negative one, one to the left of this uh, axis right here, and it scales infinitely. So it gets it gets pretty large. Again, that's a mouse wheel to, to zoom in and out like that. So anyways, we're going to keep it at zero, zero. Z is more of a uh, 3D thing. They always scale the inside the 2d camera to negative 10 so that it's actually facing the what's on the screen if you click this one right here you can actually go out of 2d mode and you can see what we're talking about here see so you click this button over here to toggle between 2d and 3d that's pretty important because you might accidentally click that at some point and you want to be in 2d view for this whole tutorial series other than that that is the basics of like what is inside of unity and what you need to know in order to start doing things now right now we don't really have anything to put in here one of the uh, best things that you can get inside of here is the best reasons why to use unity is it has a really active uh, store where you can get both paid things and free things and we're of course going to be using free things for this tutorial series so if you click on the asset store here, it actually takes you to the web page right inside of this, <laughs> right inside of Unity, you can actually go right into the asset store. So we want to actually get a 2D asset because we're working in 2D mode and we have no art right now. So let's actually uh, get some. So you go over here, you can go to 2D characters and we're going to actually be using this uh, Sunnyland pack right here. It's free as I've used it before. It's pretty good. It's not completely set up the greatest for like animations and stuff, which I think is actually a benefit to a tutorial series because you can actually learn more about like how to work around things like that. First thing, you just left click on it. I'm sure you figured that out already, but just in case, left click on it and you hit this import button right here. It'll say prepare and package and it'll like pop up this little thing right here. Again, you want to import it. You could, before you import it, mess, uh, if you know what you're looking at, go through this and like uh, deselect things that you don't want and stuff. Uh, like say for instance, you're like, no way am I gonna need no big crate. You just take off the crate. It'll even show you like uh, what you're taking off. You're like, oh yeah, I don't need that picture of that crate. Like I'm not gonna use a crate inside my game. Or maybe you're like, I will use the crate. Or you're like, I'm gonna use no environment pack. I don't need to have that background of that sky or that middle ground of this like trees looking things and stuff. I don't need that stuff. Uh, then you're like, okay, no environments. Then boom, you're, I did not mean, oh, I guess you just have to click these separately because these are down below it. I didn't even realize that. Anyways, you can click them and get rid of them and mess with it. Same thing with uh, enemies and death. Ooh, this guy's exploding. Or like a possum. I didn't even know this guy was in this pack. I haven't used him. Uh, and so on and so forth. Like, for instance, I don't really need this demo scene, so I guess I could take this out, right? And it'll actually make it a smaller download, more efficient. Anyways, 
once you figured out what you wanted inside of here with or without scene doesn't really make a difference you just hit import after you've imported it you'll have this little sunny land folder here if you haven't gotten to this point yet pause the video take your time and once you have this you can use it as you want now anyways we're gonna go back to scene view because this is where you mess with everything we don't really need to be an asset store anymore here we can start to actually mess with things and make this game now all right after you download downloaded Sunnyland, you can actually go inside of here and start to use it now in order to use this artwork you're gonna need to have it so that's set up because right now if we just put it in here it's for one thing it's not sized right like look how small that is if i play this game right now and you actually see what it looks like inside of it that's it right there that should be taking up a lot more space, right? So, why isn't it working right? Well, you see, every one of these squares is a unit. And and right now, this game thinks that this should be taking up 100 pixels per unit, meaning 100 of the dots that build up this picture is only taking up one of these squares. With pixel art, that's never the case. Like, it's 100 pixels per unit is ridiculously, that's a high resolution picture. Like a pixel art, you use something like, in this case, it's 16. So you hit 16 in there, you hit apply, and you'll actually see what we're talking about. Boom, way larger, right? And then you go back and you hit the play button, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Boom, takes up the whole screen. Look at that. It's picturesque now. Now you want to do this for everything. So we can just delete this, by the way. So you see how it says back right here, by the way? This is an instance. We're inside the rectangle tool right now. You can move it around, mess with it. It's just a simple left click. If you click any of these blue corner buttons, you can resize it and stuff. Control Z, by the way, still works inside here. That's undo, if you didn't know. So if you hit edit, you can go to undo in here, right there, or you can take uh, Control Z. Anyways, but we're gonna delete this. We don't need it right now. So if you just left click it, hit delete, DL, and boom, it's gone. Okay, so we want to resize everything. So if you click on this middle button right here, it says middle right here, and you want to shift, hold down shift and click on tile set slice right here. You'll go through them all. You can just go over here where it says 100, and you hit 16, then you hit apply. And then voila, all of them are now sized correctly for this game. Uh, why did I know that there was supposed to be 16? Well, you would know it if you were an artist, but uh, a lot of pixels are made so that they're fit, like pixel art is made so that it fits within a certain unit size. They normally like build it on a grid and you'll start to get a feel for it over time. But if you look at the tile set, you'll see that these little squares right here are actually 16 by 16, meaning that there's 16 dots by 16 dots if you want to actually go in there and count them, but it's a pain. <laughs> anyway, um, so I think that's pretty much the gist of this beginning part right here. Now the main part is we want to slice it. Now they already have a sliced version inside of here, but we're not going to use their sliced version, mostly because we want to do our own and I want you to learn how to do it. So. Luckily, they've already set up the texture type for us. So you go in here, you see how it says Sprite 2D and UI, you want it to say Sprite 2D and UI. Like if it has something else on there, like default, normal map, anything on here, it almost never says normal map by accident, but it will say default quite often. You want to go over here, you want to left click on that texture type and go into Sprite 2D and UI. Now, if you don't apply this, it'll still have its old settings. Luckily, this was already set up straight to the UI, so it's already set up pretty well. Now, the second part here, you see how this is single? This is not a single picture. This is a tile set. What a tile set is, it works like a puzzle. You can combine these pictures together to make a whole game board out of it, basically. Now, right here, we're going to click on the single. We want it to be multiple. And then we want to go into the sprite editor. You're going to hit apply because you want to have the applied settings there correctly. Now, we want to slice this. Now, this thing should know what it exactly what size, but see, if you just hit slice and then you want to do, say, the automatic slice right here, 
What it's nice to means is it'll make each one of these a separate picture, because right now it's just one giant picture. This whole thing, if you try to put it into your game, would just look just like this. So you go like this, and you hit slice, right? And you see how it sliced these all up? Now I can click these things. You couldn't do this before. If I actually hit revert to what it was before, see now I'm trying to click on it, and none of these are actually their own separate pictures. If I hit slice and slice, so where it does it automatically, each one of these is separate now. Problem is, they didn't separate them very well. Like you see here, all these are separate pictures, and you're like, wow, that does look really well. But look, you can't you see separately. Like, like say I just want this part right here, this little square piece in here, without this long trunk right here, I can't do that. And say like. Uh, I don't know, like the, I don't want the top of this, or these are fine, but like say I only want a part of this, you know, so on and so forth, or I, I only want to use this little square piece right here, like I can't do it right, or say I want this to repeat going down for a little bit so that it's longer, can't do it right now. So let's hit revert, get it back to where it was, and we're instead coming to a grid by cell size. Now I told you already earlier, 16 by 16 meaning that 16 dots by 16 dots, 16 pixels by 16 pixels. And then we're gonna slice it. Now, it does a much better job. It ignores all the blank space. And each one of these is separate. And you see, duh, duh, duh. Each one of these is a separate picture, separate picture, separate picture, separate picture. And you see what I mean? Now I can use them separately as well. Like if I want this to repeat itself, ooh, I messed that up. And if you do something like this, Control D it still works inside of here as well. It all works out a lot better. Now you want to hit Apply because uh, if you don't, it, it, it the picture still the same. It's not separated. It's not sliced up. If you hit Apply, now it's actually official. It's set up that way. Ugh, maybe we want to change this name. Eh, we'll leave it as it is for now. And now you just hit this X button to get out of the sprite editor. Or if you like it, you can just leave it in here or something. But we don't need it. So we're going to exit out. And ta-da, you've sliced your tile set right up. And we are actually ready to start building. But we'll do that in the next video where I show you the tile palette. And we create a grid and put it all on that screen and get it going. Um, if I went too fast or if you need any additional help, feel free to leave a comment below and ask a question. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, thank you. Have a good day.